Oh my god. JJ Abrams, eat your fucking lens flare out. Look at that shit. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. Yeah, it's really good looking. Here. Why does Seer need me? I wish there was an option to like have it run at 100 frames instead of 120. Because it consistently goes up to 100. Look how beautiful this is. Any screen tearing in here? No, not really. Only time I ever had screen tearing with... Eh, it's very slight. Very slight screen tearing. You won't really notice it. Right? Especially with YouTube compressing. But, um... You know, I wish that, uh... I wish that I remember what the fuck I was talking about. I honestly, I honestly lost my train of thought here. I don't remember what the hell I was talking about. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. I'm about to crack my shit in the wilderness. Save points. Great. Save points is where Cal rests and spin bullshit. That's cool. Skill tree. <coughs> Overhead. I barely use this overhead ability. Honestly, I barely use it. It's very slow. Damn, Kel, why are you so mad? Chill out. Say hi to this robot dog. Hey, BD1. I'm Kel. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Is it me? No, not you. Okay, well, fuck you. I'll just... I'm, I'm just gonna go. Did you just slice that? Thanks. He didn't slice it. He opened it. I... I, I it's a joke, guy. It was a bad joke, all right? I'm sorry. I'm taking it back. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. So listen, everybody loves R2, right? 3CPO is cool. You know, he made that he made that awesome sacrifice and that that really didn't amount to anything. Um And then uh oh my god, here's a long tutorial for the fucking map. I forgot how long they make this tutorial for it. It's a map. Here's how you map. Try looking on the map. Move, zoom, rotate. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. I gotta get it to, you know, do the check marks and all that stuff. We're not done with the we're not done with the map tutorial yet though. I can't exit out of the map. Uh-huh. Now I can exit out the map. Thank you. Takes a little too long for that. But you know, we always have our I think it's waving high to us. Oh, never mind. It's ignoring us. Okay, let's go BD1. But, uh, we always got our, um, robot companion and stuff like that. People love R2, whether you love 3CPO or not. I like 3CPO. Uh, you know, uh, BD-8, that's what it's called? Oh, fuck. That's the, that's the robot ball one. You got the, you got the sarcastic one from fucking Rogue One, which is a great movie. I'm pretty sure there's one for, uh... There might be one for Han Solo. I don't know. I don't. I'm me, just like a million other people, didn't give a fuck about Han Solo. Oh, I don't have that ability yet. My bad. We didn't give a fuck about Han Solo, so there might be a droid in there. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. Actually, you know what? There's no droid. Isn't isn't the sh doesn't the ship have an AI? So like Han Solo is not really that good of a pilot. It's the ship doing it all, anyways. Um, BD1, where the fuck do I go? I'm sorry. I was not paying attention at all, BD1. I should know where to go, but I really wasn't paying attention. I apologize. I don't think I go this way. You know, actually, can BD1's busy. Shh. Wait, what do you mean he's busy? BD1, get your ass over here. I gotta check the map. Oh, I go down here. Thanks, BD1. Any ideas? But yeah, uh, out of all the robot companions, and I mean, you also got the non-robot companion, you know, Jar Jar. Everybody hates Jar Jar. I think Jar Jar is fine. Jar Jar is not that bad. But, um, out of all the robot companions, I would say that bd ones probably the best. Because he's just, he's adorable. I look at BD-8 and I just want to, I just want to play soccer with it, you know what I mean? You know, kick that motherfucker across the room. Doesn't 
look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Shit, moving around like this at a high frame rate does not look good. BD1, what are you doing? BD1? What the hell, buddy? Where's the other one? Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Lock on, please. See, this is why I don't use the lock on. Yeah. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. I'm I'm so happy I had to use the force to see that. I couldn't tell by all the fucking dirty ass dishes, pots and pans, and the fucking oven glued to the wall. Thanks, Cal. That was very insightful. Hi, BD1. How am I supposed to believe that you're a droid that kind of survived here by yourself if you're doing shit like that? I can help you with that. Will you let me? To be fair, maybe he tried to show off. <laughs> okay. BD1, somehow, you have no face, but you are the cutest droid that I ever did see. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. BD1, can you tell that this is a characteristic of mine? I, I worked in a scrapyard. I know how to tinker. Try that. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay. Well, <laughs> I love how Cal just looked like he was cross-eyed there for a moment. He's like not even looking straight. Hold up, BD1. I gotta, I gotta fix my lightsaber. Now, for the first time ever, orange is a color. But you're not ready for orange. You're gonna stick to blue. You guys are gonna stick to blue. You don't deserve orange. Not yet, anyways. I'll let you know when you deserve it. There we go. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Open the door for me, BD. I know, I know you're on the other side. BD. Thanks, buddy. Tight fit, but this should work. <laughs> tight fit, but not as tight as your mom. That's right. That's right. I went there, BD1. I fucked your robot mother. I slid my penis into her disk drive. It hurt like hell, but it was worth it. <laughs> computing, computing. Uh, just screaming in pain. Uh, anything fancy over here? Nope. Ow! You know what? In hindsight, that was a very stupid move. It was electricity and water. It wasn't great. Yeah, I'm all right. BD1, you got a jetpack? I just saw you do like a jet jump. Healing stem. Oh, drugs! Thanks. Surprises. This is gonna make me feel tons better. Just stab it through all those layers of clothing and leather and shit. That's better. Thanks, little droid. That's better. My eyes are now more okay. bloodshot. Let's try this again. Cal's eyes do actually look a bit more bloodshot right. after he does. Stop humping my leg, you robot okay. dog. <laughs> hop on board. You're gonna hump anywhere. Hump my back. I, I can use a massage. I kind of hit my back on the way down earlier. You know what I mean? How'd you get here? Beating one can now heal you. Cause it's cool as shit. Can't argue with that. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? <laughs> Something we can use? So, here as Cal, you got some options, right? In customization, you can either wear this, or wear the shittiest looking poncho I ever did see, in, but in different colors. No, they never changed the style of poncho. No, it never changes to a nice jacket or anything. So, in my opinion, you're just going to be walking around like this the entire game because it looks way better than just garbage-ass poncho. 
I hope they change that in the sequel to have like a little bit better customizations. But BD One, uh, I like his original colors more than more than the uh -huh, BD One, right? The yellow is nice, but I do I do you know like the little shiny thing on the back of his head fits more with that. But the mantis, oh shit! All right, never mind. I thought I had the other one with it. All right. Well, we don't got nothing good yet. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Damn, BD One, you're fast as fuck, boy. Come on, buddy, let's go. I never noticed the statue, actually. We mapped everywhere we've been. This is very helpful, BD One. Thank you very much. Can I back? Can I can I back out now? Up down for elevation. Thank you. Can I back out now, please? You can't make it over there. We gotta find another. Let me back out of the fucking map. Oh my god. Thank you. I never noticed this statue here. I kind of always thought it was just a rock. First time I actually noticed it. Oh, there's another one. Huh. All right, BD One. Where the fuck am I going? I'm going over here, BD One. Yikes! Oh shit! I know I can make that jump. I just fucked it up like an idiot. Oh come on now! Come on now, guys! I'm not kidding. I know I can make that jump. All right, I've done it before. There we go. What the fuck, Cal? What was that? Can you tell that I'm a little mad? I just wasted a shit ton of health doing a jump that I knew that I fucking usually make every goddamn time. Get up there, Cal. For fuck's sake, this doesn't work, right? Nope. Down here I go. Oh fuck. Ow! Damn, dude. You guys are fucking vicious. Ah, oh, shit. I'm out of here. Hi, right, buddy. Go fuck yourself. Oh, fuck. Oh shit. BD1, this was a mistake. BD1? Oh, fuck, buddy. BD1, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be 100% honest right now. That could have went better because I forgot that I had the healing stems. I thought I was still, you know, my mind is like, you're still in tutorial mode. I love how I'm talking to BD1 like he's the fucking audience for this playthrough. You know, it gives me a name to direct towards. Audience, from now on, you're going to be my BD-1, okay? There was no reason to cut that. I just felt like it. This is already cut, right? Cool. Um, Yeah, audience, you're just going to be my BD-1 now. Whenever I refer to the BD-1, I'm also referring to, me, to you, all right? But enough goofing around, though. Guys, I promise I'm competent at, at video games. You can go check out my Demon Souls playthrough. Demon Souls remake playthrough. It was fine. It was good. It was fine. I'm gonna kill this guy. Ooh. Chest. Open it. Where are you going? There we go. What was in there? I love that little noise BD1 makes. Thudoop trill beep, whatever the fuck, <laughs> whatever the fuck the goddamn subtitles say. Alright, first try. Yeah, I fucked it up. Nope, got it. Whoa! I never actually saw the dragon just like right there, you know? I usually see it like later. Sup, loser. Sup, idiots. Sup, stupids? Yeah. What you think about that now? What are you running for? 
Seems like you're setting me up for a trap. But it was my trap that you fell for. Haha. -ha. Ow. I got hit. Scan it, baby. My beautiful baby boy. Also scan this thing. I wonder if I can kill that thing later. Probably not. It's probably like super peaceful. <coughs> Spoken like a true fucking outback man. Eh, it's probably peaceful. Dies. That was the longest parry window I've ever did do. Can you slice this? Yeah, sorry about your scoffing. But standing up to that bog rat, that'd be great. Looks so adorable, I wanna pet it. Oh wait, it's moving. Aw. Don't fall behind, BD1. Wait, BD1, where are you going? You were show you were showing me something. You were trying to show me something. This is a campsite? That creature seems so at home here. Oh, you can Dr. Pagana. Hm. I thought that was you. Oh, so it is a peaceful guy. I didn't know you can scan it. I never scanned it before. That was a nice fun little side path. It wasn't a beady one. We'll come back for that stuff later. Up on down. Alright. Resting will respawn enemies. Got it. We're gonna go into survival. I just feel like that's a smart move, you know? I'll rest, why not? Even though I don't need it. But since it brings back enemies... That means this motherfucker's gonna get it. Oh, really? That's right, I killed you for fun. This is what it means to be human. used by someone eager to reach the vault. Oh, you so dead? Run for it. Ow. Damn it. Okay. Fuck your parry timing. Hey, froggy bitch. I'm out of here. Cal says run for it. But what I'm actually gonna do is a little Dark Souls trick. Unsuspecting! Oh, fuck. He wasn't unsuspecting. He was watching me the entire time. Okay, I should have died from that one. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Woo! That's that's a fun timing on that. Been a while. Nice. Awesome. It's okay, BD1. There's a rest point up ahead. Well, not just by staring at a cow. All right. Oh, I was hoping I can. Oh, it disappeared. I was hoping I can just like <laughs> move it around. Some ragdoll physics. I want to push it off the ledge. Get up there, cow. Rest. That could have been cooler than what actually happened, but you know what? I fucked it up. Okay? 
So we're not gonna talk about it. Where you at, BD? I'll check it out. Oh, little fishies. Nice. A beanstalk. Some sort of beanstalk. It's a seed for the terrarium. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. Now I got a skill point. This way, BD1. There he is. See something in there? I wonder where am I going to place my hand at? Is it on the blue spot? Oh, it's on the blue spot. It's difficult, Master. I can't do it with my rat tail. Smack me in the eye. But with persistence and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Uh, okay. <laughs> do what you must to reach me. It took a while for you to do that. That's why I like, walked up to him. Like, do I just... No momentum whatsoever. I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. I love how wall run is a force ability. I don't think you can get up here. But I would love to. Oh, so close! It's so far away. Maybe if I had the double jump I can get up there, right? But we won't have the double jump for a while. Which makes for some very finicky platforming. You can show me that shortcut again. Alright. Can I exit out the thank you? Let's go, BD1. Jump. 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 I gotta get... Oh, there we go. If you get too high up there... If you get too high. Haha. <laughs> if you, uh... If you get too much altitude, you're just going to smack your head on the ceiling. Familiar with the Jedi Order. Yeah, that was going that was going nowhere. Over there. If I had the double jump, I can get up there. Oh, wait, actually, maybe I can get up there right now. There we go. Yoink. Experience points. Don't mind if I do. This bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Ah, Coruscant chic. Very, very stylish. Very fashion week. Let's see. What is this one? Block more stuff? That's always good. That's nice. Defense is great. Rest, even though I don't think I have to, but do it anyways. Because I want to kill. I want to moita. Really? You still hit me? Ah, there he goes. Really? There you go, wise guy. I'm trying to parry it, but it's very finicky. You don't need a running start for this, but it always feels more natural, you know? Oh, I, 
just step on it. There we go. Here we go, BD1. Oh, you're looking fine and killable over there. Get off the get off the ledge. Come on. Before you disappear. Come on. Come on. Aha! Ah! 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 ah. Damn it! Are you fucking kidding? There we go. <laughs> Alright, BD1. I'm going this way, right? Let's go, buddy. Look, BD1, I'm skipping to my loo. Are you there? Alright, you little fast son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, okay, you probably would've won. A little speedster. Probably. Oh, what the hell is this? Hmm, yes, indeed. I don't think I've actually scanned these before. Stop scanning my back, BD1. Putting fucking x-rays through me and giving me cancer and shit. Chef, 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 chef.